Welcome back to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. We just washed the hair. On 103.7. You know, I work on my hair a long time, and you, and you hit it. He hits my hair. WTIB. All right, welcome back. Hour two, Talk of the Town here in the studio this morning, 16th of uh, April. Tax day has come and gone. That's right. If you hadn't paid your taxes by now, you're going to jail. Well, maybe not. I need, I need to talk to you about that after the show. Uh, you going to jail? <laughs> I, I think so. Can you bail me out? Let me get back to you on that. All right, sounds good. I think it might do you some good to spend a little time in the pokey. Probably would, actually. <laughs> <You know? laughs> in the pokey. We'll go meet Bubba. Yeah. Um, five minutes after, the weather for the weekend has turned positive. You know, there was a forecast early in the week said we we're going to have like a 100% chance of rain on Saturday. Well, that's gone, people. Saturday is going to be beautiful. Sunshine, temperatures uh, in the 80s. We might get a slight chance of a rain tomorrow, of rain tomorrow and uh, you about a 50% chance of it today. I just went out to the car. Um, I had to do an ibuprofen injection. Mm -hmm. I keep, I keep every morning now. I got to go out to the car to get ibuprofen. You know, is it? It's just is that's is that being in your sixties? Can you take too many ibuprofen? No, I think I, if it I'm was. I'm a candidate. <laughs> <laughs> I am a candidate. <laughs> but you know, again, Christine, um, our business manager, has an entire pharmacy in her office, but she always locks her door. I have a key, but I, I feel dirty. <laughs> Using like you're my breaking key to some go kind over. of privacy thing. Yeah, and stealing her ibuprofen, so I have to go to the car and get it. But what I was going to say is I went out, and it's, it's still chilly out there. Yeah. The temperature's going to get up to the um, uh, high 60s today, maybe up to 67, something like that. Yeah, I was watching Philip last night, and after we get past Sunday, good chance of rain on Monday, but after Monday, boy, the next four or five days look really, really good. You're talking mid-70s, lower 80s for the consecutive days. Can't wait for that. It's going to be nice. You guys, uh, and, and I, you know, again, every time I've ever talked about American Idol on this show, I get, um, I get criticized. And so I got to tell you that I really don't watch American Idol, but my wife Is loves those. Is it still those, on? Yeah. My wife loves those shows. I mean, God bless her. She loves watching American Idol, but she really loves The Voice. Yeah, my wife is completely hooked in The Voice. The Voice has, The Voice replaced American Idol for the, the you know, the bigger ratings in the show that's really uh, the music show now. American Idol's really fallen kind of way down. And let me tell you why. It probably hit a new low last Did you hear what happened on American Idol on live national television last night? No, I didn't. No, I didn't either. They have this, they had this kid... I, now, I haven't watched the show, so if you watch the show, if you know this kid, Quentin Alexander, he may be a great guy, I don't know, but he came off like a thug, and he basically started attacking the show, and it, it, he, he got a, um, he sang a, um, uh, who, what was the song that he sang? He, he was singing, um, I don't know, it was kind of a rock song. You know, the, and the, by the way, the guy's got a bone in his nose. I'm not lying. He's got a pierced nose. And so, you know that part after they sing the song and they come up and the judges tell them, you know, what they think. So, um, the country music guy from Australia, what's his name? Keith Urban. Keith yep. Urban gave him a fairly decent response. Jennifer Lopez gave him a fairly decent response. And then Harry Connick Jr., who probably knows more about music than anybody ever been on that show before, tells the guy that he, you know, he wasn't particularly impressed with it. He thought that the band drowned him out and this and that and all that. He was singing, Are You Gonna Go, Are you, Are you Gonna Go My Way by Lenny Kravitz. That's what, he, was, he was singing the Lenny Kravitz song. So here's what happened. After that, the kid just kind of went street. And st <laughs> I mean, it was really a very uncomfortable, listen to this. How you feeling today? You all right? I'm good. Tell me. What's on your mind? This sucks. Okay. Aww. What sucks? Tell me what sucks. We have two of the best vocalists. My best friend is sitting over there. This whole thing is whack, but I'm going to shut up right now. <laughs> well, what? 
Are we on commercial? No, no, we're live. Oh, good. I was going to say, Quentin, <laughs> we're live. Quentin, if, it, if it's that whack, then you can always go home because Idol is paying a lot of money to give you this experience. And for you to say that to this hand that is feeding you right now, I think it's highly disrespectful. Oh, yeah. He just, he just oh, loves God. these guys. Oh, they they yeah. build a bond, you know? And by, by the way, this, 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 is all, this is all edited together. This went on for I don't, maybe four or five minutes. Wow. Three, three, four minutes at least. The kid had walked all the way on the other side of the studio. He was complaining. Uh, you know what? The, the, he was complaining that, that two of his friends were in the bottom two or whatever. But the truth of the matter is he really didn't like what Harry Connick had said to him. And so Harry Connick didn't back down off of it and said, hey, you can go home. You know, this show's spending a lot of money to make you, you know, national television and all that. And that's what was going through my mind. So then the kid walks all the way back. He could have said what he wanted to say. He walked all the way back across the studio and stood over Harry Connick. It was a really uncomfortable That's what I'm moment. watching right now. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. And then, and then he tried to kind of walk it back and say, what I meant was this. On, you know? When I said that this was whack, mm -hmm. this whole thing I wasn't was whack. saying this. Whack. Oh, you said this whole thing is whack. I, I thought that's what you meant. That no, no. is whack. Yeah, yeah, I get it. What's whack? It's a competition. I understand that. I he's, don't saying, understand. he's saying his friend is For my personal too. feelings, it sucks to see two people who I've grown to love go home. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's what I mean by it being whack. Yeah, that's BS. That's not what he meant. He, is, he was walking it back. But, you know, what was going through my mind last night was here is a situation that could end that show. Because, you know, that was such an uncomfortable, it was, it, as a viewer of that show, it was so uncomfortable to see. I mean, there was a moment where I thought the guy was going to go over and and he and Harry Connick were going to start fighting. I think Harry Connick would have taken him down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think they're at a stage, right, where this kid, whether he, he uh, wins, loses, or, or whatever, that they've, They've got the number now that this would be the tour group, right? I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. The, yeah. Right. the final right. 10 or 12, right. whatever, yeah. go on tour. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's 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 it was it was just so uncomfortable and so disrespectful. You know, here's a guy who's on national television, who's become a national singer now because of this stupid show, and he's up there criticizing it and saying it sucks and everything. It's whack, man. It's whack. It's whack. What does that mean, McGee? Help me, help me with that lingo. Whack. It, it's it's. What does whack mean? Uh, this is whack. This is, this is McGee. I think you're whack. Then, then you think I F with an E D. Boom. Yeah. Is that what it is? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. That's what it means. Pretty much. So instead of saying the instead of dropping the an F, F bomb, bomb. He, he drops a W H bomb. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least he at least he could uh, make sure that wasn't bleeped in TV world. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, didn't get to any of the late night last night. There was some funny stuff uh, on uh, Conan O'Brien last night. He was talking about uh, Chris Christie last Governor night. Governor Chris Christie says if he is president, he will crack down on the sale of marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> However, that was before he was told it also comes in a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel last night. Would you mind saying it aloud, please? Say, Jimmy, we're depending on you. Jimmy, we're depending on you. Okay, good. Now I can claim you all as dependents. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a big refund for me, and I appreciate it. As you hopefully know, today is tax day, April 15th. The IRS, little known fact, the IRS uh, specifically selected April 15th as a day because they knew it was likely to be a beautiful spring day and they wanted to ruin it for us. <laughs> you know, in Canada, they get until April 30th to file their taxes. So right now, they are laughing their Canadian asses off up there. <laughs> Here's a little uh, David Letterman from last night. Hey, you know Marco Rubio? You know the guy? He's running uh, yes, for president, yes. ladies and gentlemen. That's right. He is stepping down from one direction, and he's going to run. <laughs> and, uh, I love this. Hillary Clinton is now in Iowa, and she's spending every waking minute of her day meeting ordinary people. And it's to prepare her for a job in which she will never again meet an ordinary person. Fascinating, isn't it? 
She's trying to appear uh, homespun and down home, and earlier today, she was sitting on the front porch of a general store whittling a pantsuit. <laughs> <laughs> is she going to bring back the pantsuit? Y y yes, yeah. she is. Has it ever left? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Now some wardrobe. How old is Hillary? Who? Ooh. Is she in her 70s? No. She's not? No. You sure? Yeah. yeah. She's not in her 70s. 60, let's see, Bill was, 60, I don't know. I've, like 68, maybe? 67. Yeah, 68, maybe. 67. 67. Yeah. 67. She's 67. 67. Yeah. yeah, Rubio's heading into the whole, that generation is past kind of thing. And yeah. I will give uh, Rubio respect, though, as he gives up his day job to run. Nobody else does that. So I'll give him, I'll give him some prop for that. I think he ought to stay in the Senate. I, th I don't think he's going to win. I think he should have waited uh, another cycle. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, again, I'm speaking to the uh, Republican women of Pitt County today. We're going to talk about some of this. I, I, I'm, I'm interested to hear what they think um, and people that show up for lunch today at 400 St. Andrews. Um, I still don't know who the Republican I, – I, I think it's pretty clear – that the Democratic candidate is going to be Hillary. Yeah. I mean, I just don't see anybody on the horizon. Nobody. They're not going to be able to match her money or might or brand or yeah, anything yet. Exactly. And so um, then who who on the Republican side is going to run? I'm still, you know, I, I, I'm still sad that Mitt Romney's not going to run. I think Mitt Romney would have been the guy. But you've got, you know, I'll tell you, you, you know who's uh, picking around the edges at this and still hasn't said no? And I think could end up being a fairly um, credible and and possible winner of the primary. Call me crazy, Mike Huckabee. You don't see it. No, you cannot win this country with just evangelical votes. That's just just not going to happen. But you know he's he's got to broaden his base a little bit. You know that's kind of you, you see what Rand Paul's doing right now, reaching out to uh, African Americans, reaching out yep. to kids. Well, yeah, but Cruz, Cruz is really in Huckabee's back the, pocket with the true, evangelicals. Yeah. So I think that right. they're just going to carve each other up. Yeah. So I think there'll be a wasteland pretty quickly. So, uh, so who's it going to be? Christy, Scott Walker? Uh, Christy, no way. I don't like Christy either. Um, Christy, Christy's too far in the other direction, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think he's uh, too much on the moderate side for them uh, to get elected in the primary. And so is Rubio a serious threat? I mean, Rubio, of course, has already uh, infuriated many Republicans with his stance on immigration. Right. So I don't know that he's... But he walked that back. Well, you can't walk it back, though. Yeah. Once you say it, it's out there. And it's out there, baby. And I think Walker's once the, problem once the jelly, is... Once the jelly's out of the jar, you can't put it back in. I think Walker's problem <laughs> is, is he's got no... Uh, and he's, he's shown it in some uh, press conferences and stuff. He's got nothing outside of his state thought process he's got no real thing on oh, when you start talking international and things like that and you've got to you got to step up nikki haley see nikki haley running against hillary that'd be interesting women a woman versus a woman a woman minority what yeah oh a, a woman republican minority you know there's some there's some talk about trying to boost her up and take her there that would be interesting um i don't think jeb bush is going to have the chops i might be wrong I don't see that Before it's over with, we'll see. You know, we're kind of where we were at this point for the 2012. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, and then all of a I sudden, we asked some of these same and, questions. But that's how Romney ended up being the nominee again. That's how. Well, not again, but that's how he ended up back in as the nominee because you know most people regretted not electing him in 2008 instead of McCain. And so, um, I don't know. But it's, I, I think you're right, though. Just throwing out all those names, it's pretty wide open. I don't think anybody's got a clear shot. Mm -hmm. um, what happened to Paul Ryan? Is he completely out of the picture for all of this? Yeah, he's not, he's not declaring. And I don't see Paul Ryan. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's got some baggage now. <laughs> you know, you, you, a, lot, a lot of times coming out as the vice presidential candidate um, helps you for the next campaign. In this case, I think the closer examination of some of his views has hurt him a little bit. Hmm. Uh, so we'll I think see he's what a happens. smart guy. Yeah. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. 20 after uh, 8. Let's get a break in. We'll come back and get some news headlines in the very latest on the Wayne County arrest, the Wayne Community College uh, murder, 
and uh, other things going on in local news from WITN. we got some guests coming by, and uh, we'll tell you more about our big trip to Edenton tomorrow for the Edenton Pilgrimage. they got the Edenton Pilgrimage tomorrow, uh, starting tomorrow. The weather looks like good for the weekend. It looks good for tomorrow night's uh, Boogie on Broad for the Embers in downtown Edenton. And we're going to be there tomorrow morning, 7 to 9. Thanks to our sponsors, Colony Tire, Vita at Showon Hospital, Albemarle Bank, Edenton Motors, Cottonman.com, and uh, Jim Elliott, the Nationwide Insurance Agent up in uh, Edenton. Come on by and see us on the waterfront next to the Barker House tomorrow morning, 7 to 9, in beautiful downtown Edenton. We'll be right back. lower interest rate at Greenville Toyota during the one for everyone sales event. Get the Greenville Toyota Advantage, oil changes, tire rotations, and courtesy shuttle service for life. Rush over to Greenville Toyota today. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company is locally owned and operated serving all of Pitt and surrounding counties. Stallings Storage has all the standard sizes and also offers 20 by 40 units with 12 by 12 doors for all your large storage needs. Stalling Storage is the only local company providing mobile units 8x15, 8x10, or 5x8 delivered to your site. They deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy. No need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people that you know. Hi, I'm Eddie Stallings, Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. I'd like to invite you all out to visit our facility, check out our mobile storage units, we can bring them out to your home or business, leave them, let you fill them up, bring them back and store them, or take them to your next site. Please call us at 321-2300 or visit our website, stallingstorage.com. And as always, we are pirates supporting pirates. Go Pirates! I'm Henry Hinton. You've heard me talk over the years about how much I love being a patient of Dr. Thomas McIntosh. I love Carolina Vision Care because I can get my glasses in their optical department right on site. They've got one of the largest selections of frames anywhere and an in-house optical lab run by opticians that can make glasses many times in about an hour. And they accept most vision plans and insurances. And for people without vision insurance, they have their own vision plan that will save you money. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. There's no better Eastern North Carolina traditions than barbecue and pirate football. So make plans to attend the 32nd annual ECU Pigskin Pig Out the weekend of April 17th and 18th. The weekend kicks off Friday with an equipment sale, the Parade of Pigs, and families can watch a movie from the football field. Saturday includes live music, our annual pig cooking contest, team meet and greet, and of course, the spring game. All activities are free to the public. For more information on the Pigskin Pig Out April 17th and 18th, visit ecupirates.com. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. Stop making high interest payments and swap into a new Toyota with a lower interest rate at Greenville Toyota during the One for Everyone sales event. Get the lower interest rate and payments as low as $159 a month. Give Greenville Toyota just 15 minutes and we can lower your payment. Let me guess the new Van Halen record. <laughs> Please. Dude, that was from 83. Come on, where well, have you been? What was Jeez. that? Uh, Kiss. Oh. Man. Somebody actually sent me an email yesterday and said, the noise that comes out of my radio when Michael is uh, playing the bumper music. <laughs> it's the big hair. It's the big hair. Hey, era. hey, it's not for 60 plus crowd. Head okay. Davis Ball. It's not for 60. Well, who cares about it? You have to broaden your horizons. You're going to be stuck in the 70s for the rest 24, of your life? 24 after. I just got an uh, email from the mayor of, um, of, of Washington, North Carolina, Mac Hodges, saying that the Dominique Wilkins 30 for 30, 30, for 30. is going to air tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on ESPN. Cool. He says he went to Atlanta for the premiere, and they beat up on Little Washington pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. Really? Well, they don't know you then, Mac. 
I got he no says, love. He for said, him. but it ended well. So uh, I guess I guess what he's saying is that the thirty for thirty beats up on Washington. Yeah, I'm sure they, they, they do that to all the smaller. Why? I don't know why. I think I think it, it, it's kind of a build up. I think it almost makes the player. Or oh, the like he, talking about, he's overcome this he's little overcome, town. Yeah, and, you know what I mean. So yeah. They don't know Washington. Mac. That's the foundation of his roots. So I don't. Know. Yeah. Some metrosexual from New York probably produced it. <laughs> yeah, it must yeah. have been. Hey, you, you were talking about the music. <laughs> I, for some reason, people f find the need to want to email me and text me after Henry talks about songs he used to sing about "She Shot a Hole in My Soul." Whatever, however it goes. Are we going there again today? I, I'm, no, I got. Ten different emails. I got a bunch of about yesterday. you don't know that song. <laughs> no, I don't know the song. I, I don't know. So the you're going to attack I, I me for I that. Got, I bet I got ten emails I mean, with text. That's that when you fire back. And I was born this year. When were you born? Somebody even emailed me yesterday. Said Huey Lewis and the News covered that song. Yeah. Clifford yeah. Curry was the original. He wrote it, and then Bob Marshall and the Crystals, who we were talking about, who used to play up around. Tidewater area. They they were they made the big hit out of it. All right, 26 after eight. Let's get a uh, let's get our news break in right now. News uh, this hour with WITN's Mark Gintner. Good morning, Marky Mark. Good morning, Henry. Thank you. A Greenville man is charged with statutory rape and locked up under a quarter million dollar bond. Online records show 37 year old Charles Gregory Prayer Jr. of Arlington Boulevard in Greenville is being held behind bars and was placed there Wednesday. We're following his arrest and we'll bring you more information when it becomes available. The driver of a moped is dead after police say it collided with an SUV. Greenville Police and Greenville Fire Rescue responded to the accident on Greenville Boulevard near Williams Road. Police say the preliminary investigation indicates the SUV pulled out from Williams Road in front of the moped, which was traveling on Greenville Boulevard toward Dickinson Avenue. Police confirmed that the moped driver passed away. Their name will not be released until family is notified and charges are pending. A man who is accused of killing a community college employee on Monday will be back in Goldsboro Thursday. Goldsboro spokeswoman Kim Bess says Kenneth Stancil will appear before a Wayne County judge today. Wednesday afternoon in a Florida courtroom, Stancil agreed to return to Wayne County to face the murder charge. On Tuesday, Stancil confessed in court during a profanity-laced statement to killing Ron Lane in the day before, at the day before at Wayne, Wayne Community College. Stancil was arrested early Tuesday morning in Daytona Beach by officers who found him sleeping on the beach. A police report says the man pulled a knife on the officers when he was woken up, but no one was hurt. The report says Stancil hitchhiked to Florida after his motorcycle broke down on I-95. The family has finalized funeral arrangements for the community college employee who was shot Monday morning after arriving for work. Ron Lane was an 18-year employee at Wayne Community College. His funeral will be held at 2 p.m. today at Shoemate Falk Funeral Home in Dudley. A private burial for Lane will take place at a later date. Flowers or contributions can be made to Wayne Community College Foundation in memory of Lane. That's your WITN News update. Okay, very good. Let's check our weather update now. Here's McGee with that. Mostly cloudy for today, a 30% chance of showers, uh, mainly south of Highway 70 for your Thursday lows tonight in the mid-50s. For your Friday, you may see a slight chance of a shower late in the day, otherwise partly sunny skies with a high of 75 degrees. Lows for your Friday night. Right around 60. Saturday and Sunday looking pretty good. Saturday is plenty of sunshine with a high of 79 and 77 degrees for the high on Sunday. Partly sunny skies. Um, all right. Looking good for Monday as well. Yes. 70 percent. Continue because I'm not ready. Yep. 70 percent chance of <laughs> rain for your Monday. Warming up Way though to with catch a high up. of 80 degrees. And uh, but after Monday, like I said, Philip Williams said last night, the next five days after Monday look really really good. Mid 70s sunshine. My kind of spring weather. Looking good. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for uh, vamping a little bit while I found my live script here. Our news and weather update. <laughs> I'm really organized, aren't I? News and weather, a uh, service this hour of uh, our friends at uh, Classic Catfish and Classic Seafood and the Sizzle Shack. If you have not checked it out yet, the Sizzle Shack is on Highway 11 in Aden. They're open for lunch now, Tuesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. What is the Sizzle Shack? It is a food truck serving fresh fish like locally raised catfish and delicious cod ta codfish tacos. It's set up for lunch four days a week in front of Classic Catfish on Highway 11 
in Aden next to Menji's Bottling Group. And it's going to be on the road at events around eastern North Carolina all spring and summer. You can order lunch right at the Sizzle Shack. And then you can shop inside the classic seafood retail fish market for fresh fish, oysters, and frozen wild shrimp. I was just in there the other day and got the tour. And, man, is it, well, you, you never know. You know, what a great business right here. They're shipping uh, catfish and, and seafood all over the eastern part of the country. Visit the Sizzle Shack and Classic Seafood Market on Highway 11 and Aiden beside Menji's uh, Bottling. It's now open for business. Word's getting out. If you haven't, I tell you, it's, a, it's kind of a neat thing. Drive out there for lunch, Highway 11, right next to Menji's Bottling, right in front of the Classic Catfish Plant. You'll see the food truck out there. They call it the Sizzle Shack. And you got to try the fish tacos for a fresh and healthy lunch. Make plans for the Sizzle Shack for lunch. You're open Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 1. And then look for the Sizzle Shack at uh, festivals all over eastern North Carolina this spring and summer. All right, we'll take a break and come back. More talk of the town on the way. It's 830 right now. We'll be right back. A lot of things uh, happening in the community. Going to tell you about some of them next. Win this new Mercedes-Benz with a 1 in 2,000 chance to win. It's the 2015 Pitt CC Foundation Mercedes-Benz Raffle. Buy your tickets now at PittCC.edu. That's PittCC.edu. Is it time for a new car or truck? Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come on inside. It is Ram Truck Month, and we have over 100 new Rams for you to choose from. That is the largest selection in the East. You also want to check out the new lineup of Jeeps, from the Wrangler to the new Grand Cherokee. Jeep is the hottest brand on the market this spring, and we've got a great selection to choose from. We'll see you at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep, across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Gordon's Golf and Ski, carrying all the top names in skiing, snowboarding, and golf for over 44 years. Stop in Gordon's for some cool winter savings. Snowboard and ski pants, coats and bibs, all 40% off. With spring just around the corner, Gordon's is getting you ready for the link. Golf shirts, 50% off. Golf shoes, 30% off. Gordon's service department will get you back on the course with the fastest golf repair in town. Receive a free hat and glove with any purchase over $150, only at Gordon's Golf and Ski, Greenville. Hey everybody, guess who's never danced with a girl before? Yeah, this guy. Come on buddy, on the 2-4. 2-4. There you go. At Shaw Floors, we know the little moments matter. They're why we work so hard to put a carpet beneath his feet that's as awesome as he is. Boyd's Carpet, 115 West Fire Tower Road in Winterville. Call them at 321-7066. Could win an out of the blue party with rock stars like Fallout Boy. Follow us on Twitter and hashtag out of the blue with a picture of Pepsi. This isn't a park, and there is no game of fetch. These boys are here on business, and this is their office. If you have hunting dogs in Pitt County, you should know that we're working just as hard to provide for them as they are for you. As part of the new canine control ordinance, dogs actively involved in training, field trials, or seasonal hunting do not have to be under physical restraint when on your property or property you lawfully occupy. To learn how the law applies to your hunting dogs, just visit our website, pittcountync.gov. Have you heard? A 1 in 2,000 chance to win a new Mercedes-Benz. The 2015 PCC Foundation Mercedes-Benz Raffle. Buy your tickets now at pittcc.edu. That's pittcc.edu. Okay, welcome back. Talk of the town here on uh, Thursday morning. Nice to have you here. Today is the 16th day of April. And if you live in Rocky Mount today, there is a, a free health screening coming up, Wellness Day. We've got our fourth year ECU School of Medicine, Brody School of Medicine, uh, medical student Marlena Sheridan live in the studio. I asked her, can I call you doctor now? And she said, three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> 
It'll be Dr. Marlana Sheridan. Absolutely. Uh, you were here uh, a few weeks ago talking about Wellness Day in Tarboro. That's right. It's, and uh, today you're doing it in Rocky Mount. Mm -hmm. Same event. We're checking blood pressures, cholesterol, risk factors for stroke, um, checking blood sugars. It's held from 10 a.m. this morning to 2 p.m. Walk-ins um, are welcome. So Now, where are you going to be today? We're going to be at the Health Department in Rocky Mount at 155 Atlantic Avenue. All right. And this is all a free service? Free service put on by the Brody Scholars. It's a Brody Foundation um, event. So yeah. uh, we partner with Viden and the North Carolina Stroke Network. So. All right. Very good. So today, 10 to 2. Yes, sir. Uh, Rocky Mount Health Department. Yes, sir. Just uh, show up. And, show and now up. What, are, what are you screening for? We're screening for um, folks who have high blood pressure and who may not um, be symptomatic for it, folks who have high cholesterol, diabetes. Um, stroke is, is one of the leading causes of death in this part of the country and this mm -hmm. part of the state. Mm -hmm. And so um, just making people aware of those risk factors and uh, helping them get connected with the right health care professionals. A lot of folks walking around are ticking time bombs and don't even know Absolutely. it, right? Because they don't go to the doctor. Right. Don't get their blood pressure they checked. They don't feel bad, and yeah. so... Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for what you do. Thank you. Three weeks from being Dr. Marlena Sheridan. Have you got your, uh, they've, they've had the white coat ceremony, haven't they? Mm -hmm. White coat ceremony first so, year, and then we had match day. Um, match day, that's March. what I'm thinking about. Back in March, yeah. So where are you going? I'm headed to Wichita, Kansas for residency. Oh, uh, you told us medicine. that last time, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Wichita's cold. Take a coat. <laughs> I will. I'll have to buy, <laughs> buy a new one. <laughs> All right, Marlena. Well, thank you for uh, what you do. Thank you for all that the uh, Brody School of Medicine does to promote health care in this uh, region. And again, Wellness Day today in Rocky Mount. The med students will be there at the uh, Rocky Mount Health Department. So uh, come out, get your uh, blood pressure checked, get, get screened uh, on Wellness Day. Thanks for all you guys do. Thank you so much. All right, good to see you. Marlena thank Sheridan you. from the Brody School of Medicine. All right, let's take a break. We're coming back. More talk of the town and some other interesting things happening in the community next. Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's springtime and we have over 500 new vehicles in stock. For the best price and selection, come on inside. Get to the award season event for up to $8,000 in total savings on the new Chrysler 300. You can also lease a new Jeep Grand Cherokee for just $2.99 a month or a new Chrysler 200 for just $2.19 a month. It's time for a new Coro truck. We will see you here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Are you a bargain hunter always looking for the best deals in Greenville? Start your hunt on Saturday, April 25th at the St. James UMC Spring Fling Yard Sale. This massive yard sale opens at 6.30 and is the start of a day-long event with a plant sale, bake sale, craft bazaar, and live auction at 5. All proceeds benefit local charities, so come join our St. James family on April 25th at 2000 East 6th Street for unique finds, great bargains, and excellent food. For more information, call 752-6154 or visit STJ Connect. Connect.org. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752 8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy where we know dogs. To go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Look at you two, taking a flying leap off the high dive of life and starting your own home business and nailing it. The term busy is just taking on a whole new meaning. At Shaw Floors, we love busy. It's why we work so hard to put a resilient floor beneath your feet that's as awesome as you are. Boyd's Carpet, 115 West Fire Towel Road in Winterville. Call them at 321-7000. 
800-800-8866. Buy your ticket. All right, happy to have a couple of uh, friends from Rose High School. Well, one from Rose High School and one who is uh, uh, fundraising and doing some uh, things as a booster of Rose High. My buddy Lee Stevenson is here. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. How are you? Lee is the president of the Academic Boosters Club at, uh, at Rose High. And Randall Leach is an art teacher at Rose High. Good morning, Randall. Good morning. How are you? Good I'm to see good. you. Good. All right, Rose High's got some interesting things going on, as always. But, uh, Lee, this is uh, about... A fundraiser you guys are doing uh, the legacy brickyard tell us about that well we um, academic boosters is sort of a unique group um, you often hear about band boosters and uh, orchestra boosters and athletic boosters and um, and we have all of those at Rose and, and we're so thankful for that but academic boosters is different in that our role is to support academic excellence at Rose High School for all students across all programs at all levels. So it doesn't matter what student you have at Rose, um, we're, we're out there to make academics better at Rose. And this is a fundraiser that we have every spring, um, but we started the Brickyard Legacy Program last year. And we actually installed the Brickyard last summer and we have a thousand bricks in the brickyard and we sold almost 250 bricks last year and so we have a goal of 200 more this year and hopefully we can surpass that but it's all to raise money for academics at rose and what do you uh so so the idea is that you buy a brick and your name goes on the brick you buy an engraved brick um with with your name on it you can buy a brick for your graduating senior it's a great gift you can buy a brick for an alum that you want to honor or a favorite teacher or um, anyone. And, and in fact, if you're just a business person in town and you have employees that are Rose High School graduates and you'd like to honor them, you can buy a brick as well. And all of that money stays at Rose High School and supports academics. How much are you uh, charging for the brick? Bricks are $60 and um, it's an easy process to order a brick. You can just go to our website and it's click, click, click three okay. clicks and um paypal you can order through paypal all right stand by we'll give the address for the website in a minute let me talk to randall mm -hmm. randall leach is an art uh, teacher at rose high and your program is benefiting from this tell us how that works we we are we we were able to submit a grant request in the fall and we received funds to paint mural in the building because this is something that we can't cover from our normal art budget and so we were able to do that and then our recent one in the spring we submitted a request with the fellow teacher the graphics teacher Robert Puckett and we were we received a 3d printer and this is the cut of cutting edge top of the line nice. 3d printing the students are designing stuff on the computers which are actually getting imported to software and printed out like, those those like, things, like the are, those things are They're amazing. amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Crazy what you can do with a 3D that, printer. That is yeah. correct. Yeah, and it's good to have the high school kids be able to use because I'm telling you, I've been into several university campuses in the last four months, mm -hmm. and they're all using 3D printers. I mean, that's the coming that's technology. That's the new technology. Yeah, You're right. No doubt You're about right. it. So and the so high school kids are, if they're getting a jump on that, that's a good thing. So uh, so you applied for a grant. Who do you apply for the grant for? To uh, Lee's uh, group? To academic boosters. The right. teachers every semester, the fall and the spring, have access to, to apply for uh, the, grant, the grants. And you, you send in your request, and, and they go out and try to, try to make it happen. And, mm -hmm. and they are making it happen through contributions. Yeah. Through That's great. Yeah, we've been really fortunate. We gave over $16,000 back to teachers and, and the classrooms and special programs in the fall and over $10,000 in January for the spring semester. So we're very fortunate to have a wonderful parent base who is, they're just terrific about donating. Mm-hmm. So we feel great about that. All right, so uh, tell us how to do it. If you want a brick in the brickyard yes. at Rose High School, you say there's a website. What's the web address? There is. Um, it's jhracademicboosters.weebly.com. You can go to our website, and all the directions are there. It's a, it's a very easy process. We just walk you right through that. You can also access our website through the uh, Rose High School website. Okay. Too. What is Weebly? 
We believe it's it's a um, a site where you just can a it's a free website. Free website, yeah. website. Yeah. user yeah. friendly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very. I was gonna say there's a lot of those now, but I hadn't heard of Weebly. Yes. All right, yes. good. So it's a J H R Academic Boosters dot Weebly dot com. Okay. Yes, sir. And I believe you have a son who went to Rose High School. I have a son Might and a, to buy a, a brick I have a son him. and a daughter who went to high school. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll ask them if they want to buy. Oh, you want me to buy? A brick? I want you to buy a brick. <laughs> Absolutely. They make more money than I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> That's good. Absolutely. Good. All right. Um, so. Uh, Anything else that we covered? What else do you, anything else you want to tell me about? Well, we, as our art department, we honor two of the great art teachers, Billy Stinson and Steve <laughs> Donald. They have yeah. bricks in the brickyard. And yeah. So these, yeah. these are, this is a great thing to do f as students, the alumni and then current students, they can join together and also honor teachers. How is Rose High getting along without Billy Stinson, by the way? It's, it's hard. It's hard. I have a painting of his uh, in my room, which keeps him in the presence of you know, when I think about my children, uh, their Rose Hyde days, I think about, um, I think, you know, you, you just never went to Rose Hyde. You didn't see Billy and Sandra Stinson. They That's were everywhere. exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And they actually came to our Brickyard ribbon cutting last summer. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're, you either see them supporters. or Marvin Jarman. I don't know which right. one. Right. That's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they came to the, they came to the they did. Brickyard. Where is the Brickyard? The brickyard is um, in the very front of the school by the flagpole. It surrounds the flagpole. Mm -hmm. And I have before and after pictures that were in the paper um, recently, but there are a thousand bricks and it just, it makes it look so much better. And it was mm -hmm. part of a larger beautification initiative at Rose. So we're just, we're getting started. Um, well, it sounds like a do. great program. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank and uh, you. Thank Randall, you. congratulations Thank on you. getting the grant and all the work you're doing with the art students at Rose. Thank you, sir. All right, good to see you both. Uh, Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Thank you for all the hard work that you're putting into this. Sounds oh, like yeah. a great program. All right, 14 in front of nine. Let's uh, go to break. And uh, Trent is up next with sports. Stop making high interest payments and swap into a new Toyota with a lower interest rate at Greenville Toyota. During the One for Everyone sales event, get the lower interest rate and payments as low as $159 a month. Give Greenville Toyota just 15 minutes and we can lower your payment. Having a vision of what really matters is how we succeed. Keeping an eye on the ball, seeing all the things that we need. Focusing on the big picture, always striving to do what's right. Is it time for a new car or truck? Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come on inside. It is Ram Truck Month and we have over 100 new Rams for you to choose from. That is the largest selection in the East. You also want to check out the new lineup of Jeeps from the Wrangler to the new Grand Cherokee. Jeep is the hottest brand on the market this spring and we've got a great selection to choose from. We'll see you at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company is locally owned and operated serving all of Pitt and surrounding counties. Stallings Storage has all the standard sizes and also offers 20 by 40 units with 12 by 12 doors for all your large storage needs. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile units 8 by 15, 8 by 10, or 5 by 8 delivered to your site. They deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy. No need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people that you know. Hi, I'm Eddie Stallings, Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. I'd like to invite you all out to visit our facility, check out our mobile storage units. We can bring them out to your home or business, leave them, let you fill them up, bring them back and store them or take them to your next site. Please call us at 321-2300 or visit our website, stallingsstorage.com. And as always, we are Pirates supporting Pirates. Go Pirates. This used to be their teenager's room, which, you know, they didn't see a lot of because the door was always closed. And now it's their empty nest, waiting for new memories. It's the starting over that we love at Shaw Floors. And why we work so hard to put a floor beneath their feet that's as timeless, durable, and, well, as awesome as they are. Boyd's Carpet, 115 West Fire Tower Road in Winterville. Call them at 321-7066.
Stop making high interest payments and swap into a new Toyota with a lower interest rate at Greenville Toyota. During the One for Everyone sales event, get the Greenville Toyota Advantage. Oil changes, tire rotations, and courtesy shuttle service for life. Rush over to Greenville Toyota today. Coming up Monday morning on Talk of the Town during the 7 to 9 hour, we're going to change formats a little bit, and we're going to replay the uh, Greenville Community Summit session on um, the uh, local economy in the 7 to 8 hour. And uh, in that um, session, we discussed a lot of things with the panelists about uh, the possibility of Eastern North Carolina getting that auto plant, which we're hearing is... Uh, Still a possibility, but, you know, the General Assembly's got to move on some incentives to make it happen. That's happening slowly. So that'll be in the 7 to 8 o'clock hour. We'll talk about uh, diversifying the Pitt County economy and those kind of things. That was a shot at the summit last Wednesday. And then in the 8 o'clock hour on, um, on Monday morning, we're going to have the um, Greenville Community Summit panel discussion on health care and uh, its role in our community. Great panel, including uh, Brian Floyd, the president of Vidant, uh, Dean uh, Cunningham, Paul Cunningham from the Brody School of Medicine, my friend Mark Albernaz, Marcus Albernaz, who is the chairman of the board of Vidant Health. And uh, who else was on that panel? Who am I forgetting? There was on the health care panel? Yeah. Dr. Massey? Dr. Uh, Dr. Dennis Massey, yeah, of course, from Pitt Community College, who was one of the sponsors, by the way, Pitt Community College along with uh, Greenville Toyota, Greenville Utilities, Delcor, Carolina Ice Company, and Yadkin Bank were the sponsors of uh, the Greenville Community Summit. So the first replay of the summit, 7 to 9, coming up on Monday morning here on Talk of the Town, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Tomorrow morning, live in Edenton. And we'll tell you more about that in just a couple of seconds. But if you're in the Edenton area, we've got a lot of great guests, including my old friend Martin Parker who uh, played for Vince Gill for many, many years, is now retired back in uh, Eden. I can't wait to talk to Martin about some of his Nashville stories. And um, we're also going to be having guests from the community, Bob Steinberg, the uh, State House representative for Edenton and Chowan County, and that part of the state will come on and give us a little legislative update on what's happening for his region up there. And a lot of folks from the Edenton Pilgrimage and Homes Tour uh, and Boogie on Broad tomorrow night where the Embers are playing in downtown Edenton. So come on out tomorrow morning, 7 to 9, if you're in the area. Come on out and join us live in downtown Edenton on the waterfront tomorrow morning. And Michael has promised no rain. Uh, yeah, we, we went ahead and uh, rented the tent and uh, everything so we know it won't rain, right? It's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> if we didn't rent the tent, it, it would poured, rain. Yeah. <laughs> I think the weather's going to be good. Uh, I'm speaking today at noon at 400 St. Andrews, the old beef barn building, to the uh, Pitt County Women's Republicans. And uh, I think that's $12 for lunch. It starts at 1130. Lunch is served at 12. And we're going to be talking about politics. One of the interesting things that we'll be talking about as we approach the political year and the political silly season <laughs> is the congressional races. Yesterday, an announcement out of District 2, a nut so there are going to be no less than three people in the Republican primary for uh, the Eastern North Carolina congressional seat held by Renee Elmers. Frank Roach uh, has um, rolled out his uh, – he ran against uh, her before, and the, um, the Chatham County uh, chairman of the Republican Party, Jim Duncan – has also announced he's going to run against Renee Elmers in the primary. Uh, I do not know either one of those gentlemen, but I believe Frank Roach has done some radio in the past. I uh, don't really know him. No one has yet declared that they are going to run against Walter Jones in the District 3 primary. But let me just say that I am hearing some interesting noise. And I think in the coming days and weeks, there will probably be an announcement, and I think that uh, my prediction, and I'm going to tell the uh, folks today at the uh, luncheon, my prediction is that there will there'll be at least one challenger to Walter Jones in the Republican primary, maybe two. 
You know, we had a big race uh, last year with Taylor Griffin running against him. Taylor Griffin had a million dollars in expenditures. And I'm hearing there could be a second primary opponent. So we'll talk about that today as well. Also talk about state politics and uh, who might run against Richard Burr and um, all of that. So join us for lunch today. 400 St. Andrews. All right, here's McGee on sports. What you got? All right, some college basketball news from Wednesday. Duke head basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski now faced with the challenge of having to replace all three of his star freshmen from this year's national championship team as point guard Tyus Jones announced on Wednesday his decision to forego the remainder of his eligibility with the Blue Devils and enter the 2015 NBA draft. Jones joins fellow freshman teammates Jaleel Okafor and Justice Winslow in declaring for the NBA draft. NC State also receiving news on Wednesday that guard Trevor Lacey will declare for the NBA draft. He has not hired an agent, has until the 26th uh, to do that. The fourth year junior averaged 15.7 points per game for the Wolfpack this past season. Also, Wolfpack sophomore forward Kyle Washington informed Mark Gottfried on Wednesday that he will transfer from NC State with the departures of Washington, uh, Lacey, potentially Lacey, and certainly senior Ralston Turner. The Wolfpack will be entering the 2015-2016 season without three of their top four scores from this past season's team. ECU baseball, the Pirates uh, beat Old Dominion 4-2 Wednesday thanks to Parker Lamb's pinch hit two RBI, two out RBI double in the eighth uh, which broke a two-all tie to give ECU win number 22 on the season. Junior Jimmy Boyd picking up his fourth win on the year. And ECU back in action this weekend on the road for a three-game American Conference Series at UConn. And the ECU Department of Athletics on Wednesday releasing its intent to implement a two-year plan that would allow student athletes to be provided the full cost of attendance as part of their athletic scholarship beginning August 1st. Expenses such as academic-related supplies, transportation to and from school, and other personal incidentals meeting uh, the federal definition of cost of attendance can now be included with the value differing from campus to campus. The American Athletic Conference support cost of attendance scholarships and will allow individual schools to determine how to implement it on their respective campuses. Now, ECU's figure for the 2015-2016 year has been set at $4,025. That's interesting. So, uh, East Carolina, the first, non I, I think East Carolina becomes the first non-Power 5 school to say that they're going to pay additional money for full uh, full cost of, uh, for full cost of attending school for their athletes in football and uh, women's basketball. Has there been anybody else outside the Power Five? I don't think there has. I know East Carolina is the first in the uh, American Conference to do it, so I'm pretty sure nobody else has done it unless somebody like BYU or somebody stepped up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's our sports update brought to you by Carolina Vision Care. If you need uh, glasses, if you need an eye exam, if you need contact lenses, if you have special needs like astigmatism, or uh, any kind of bifocal needs, those kind of things. Remember, at Carolina Vision Care, they keep what's important in sight. Dr. Tom McIntosh, my friend, has been uh, practicing um, uh, medicine and eye uh, care in Greenville for many, many years. And uh, I love being a patient of his. They've got one of the largest selections of frames in their optical department that you'll ever find. Many designer brands. And uh, an in-house optical lab. You don't have to have your eye exam done by Dr. McIntosh, by the way, to order your glasses from the optical lab at Carolina Vision. Uh, you know, I, I go to Dr. Tom because I tell you, I think he's uh, the best uh, that, I've, that I've ever used. And I love uh, the, my relationship with him. He's a terrific guy. And he uh, treats his patients like friends. And they really do treat you well at Carolina Vision Care. Stop by and check them out. And uh, if you need to get a uh, prescription done, they got an in-house optical lab. Sometimes they can fill your glasses, uh, uh, your prescription in an hour. They got great sunglasses too. If you don't wear um, prescription glasses, you want a really nice pair of sunglasses, they've got the Costa Del Mar sunglasses. And they accept uh, most vision plans and insurances for people without vision insurance. They've got their own vision plan that will save you money on eye exams, eyeglasses, and contact lenses. And get this, it's free to join. Carolina Vision Care, located on Greenville, uh, in Greenville on West Arlington Boulevard, just down the street from us here at Arlington uh, um, Crossing, near the Dickinson Avenue intersection with a sign out front with a big blue eye. All right, so uh, that's it for today. We will be live in Edenton tomorrow. Thanks to our sponsors in Edenton. Uh, we really look forward to seeing some of our friends up there tomorrow morning from 7 to 9. 
Uh, our our uh, talk of the town on the road in Edenton being sponsored by our friend Stuart Deacon over at Edenton Motors. Uh, Albemarle Bank. We hope to see some of the Albemarle Bank folks out there tomorrow. Violent Showan Hospital. We're going to be talking to the new CEO of Violent. Uh, Colony Tire. Uh, Charlie Creighton and all his guys. Uh, we appreciate uh, them sponsoring the show. Cottonman.com. Jim Elliott, the nationwide insurance agent in Edenton. Thanks to all of those folks who uh, stepped up to sponsor our visit to Edenton tomorrow to kick off the Edenton pilgrimage. We hope to see you there. McGee, have a great one. You do the same. All right. Might rain today, but tomorrow's going to be great. Take the umbrella today. We'll see you tomorrow. Cable 7, your hometown station.